I'm going to teach you this message is so strong to me, living to be a blessing. Let's open 1 Corinthians chapter 10, 24 in the CEV. Living to be a blessing. Let's read one, two, three for it. We should do what? Think about others and not about ourselves. Let's read the new in the New Living Translation. One, two, three, four, read. Let's read uh, Philippians chapter. Two. Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 and 4 1, 2, 3, 4, read Read it again until it sinks into your spirit 1, 2, 3 say powerful father we thank you for your work as we discuss the subject living to be a blessing say after me living to be a blessing say father God may I be alive to be a blessing to fellow human beings no matter who they are without discrimination for the remainder of my years of my life in the name of Jesus I've made a discovery Bazan. I want you to write this discovery that I've made there are two things that causes life to favor you I'm telling you how many that causes what life to favor you these things are big. Number one thing that causes life to favor you is to be good to other people, to respect people. I once made a statement, Nancy, if you mistreat or mishandle people, trouble people, I'm telling you for free, life will trouble you. Hello? Life will what? If you trouble people, life will trouble you. Why? Because life is governed by a very supreme spiritual law. It is called the law of sowing and reaping. Many people are not aware. Most of the things that will be happening to me and to you this week and the remainder of December have already been pre-programmed. They've already been decided by the sum total of the things you were doing to people from January up to now. I've discovered that though we sometimes think faith is powerful, faith is not powerful. Actions are powerful. I'm telling you. And it's so serious that sometimes it's all out good and follow tender bandlet bonagala or labanda bati bon, but your heart is doing it to them. I'm telling you. If you just want to force life, let me make this statement. Even if I make it and I close, it's fine. If you want to force life, to agree with you. Things to always work to your favor. Treat people good. Show people kindness. Give help to those who need help. Be nice even to those who are not nice to you. Ah, let's go to 
Because if you are nice to the people who are not nice to you, God makes you their commander. The Bible says, blessed are the meek or the humble because they shall inherit the earth. Amen. Amen. So if you want life to favor you and you want to keep on seeing good things without praying too much, be good to people. Invalid destroyer band to net destiny abo iba subjected to perpetual suffering. It's bad heartedness. It's lit your lamb. No more atula, no more kuma, no more endan. I'm telling you. Allow me to give you this good news and just change the way you treat people. Greet those who don't greet you. Amen. Why do you think the Bible once upon a time said in the first sermon of Jesus, blessed are the merciful or the kind, for they shall obtain. That's a big word. To obtain is to get something that was not there. They shall obtain mercy. I told you, they bicker too much, they fight too much. If we make worship center the epicenter of love and respect, blessings will be in the air. Because the Bible says how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together harmoniously in unity. I don't know It's wrong for a Christian to be offended by Zalwan. It's wrong. Because there's a standard that has been set by the Bible as to how a Christian should respond to a Christian who does him or her wrong. The standard is in Ephesians 4. 31 or 32. It's a standard. San Macron is for me as a glimmer. They are called. As fun then. Bitterness is a poison that you hide on the inside. It means someone does you wrong, you get offended, and you move around with that bitterness poison on the inside when you look at that person. <laughs> Let all what bitterness rage raging not aim in a tang bambu mutung mut Jengalema put to end logo to convention. Ay, nothing I'm saying I'll stick say <laughs> Let all rage, anger, harsh words, and slander. Slender, Good to moon to Good as well as all types of what evil behavior so sendan jani ngos jomba kuti convention verse 32 instead you see instead of lessing funza go replace lessanza go funza with this be kind to each other so that life will be kind to you. Tender-hearted. Forgiving one another. Eh, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. That's the standard of the Christian. Yeah. Tender's kangan. Pray a bit. The anger 
must go now. The bitterness must go now. The grudging must go now. But see, Father, I clean my heart now. I release all issues. I release all bitterness, Lord. I choose to be like Christ. In the name of Jesus, Lembru Hashana Masakabayanda, Lipru Hashata Basikabaya, Zali Masakabayanda Basaka, Lepru Hashata. In Jesus' name, if you want life to be good to you, to favor you, number one, be good to other people, respect them. Love them. Help those that need help. As a lifestyle. Am I helping you? As a what? As a lifestyle. Because Christianity means Christ-like. Huh? Christianity means what? Christ-like. What did Christ do? He came to lay his life down for our salvation. Amen. And you are never regarded as a Christian until you show love to other Christians in spiritual terms. We regard you as, a, as an actor. If you don't do John chapter 13 verse 35, 34 and 35. Look at John 13, 34, 35. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. One, two, three, four, eight. can make Jesus to be attractive is to men and women of kindness, love, respect, goodness wherever we go. Amen. Then people will see that we are different. Can you say amen? Another amen. Now begin to write this statement. You will never be remembered by what car you drove, what big house you lived in, what academic accolades you possessed, or what earthly position you occupied, but by the contributions you made towards the upliftment of others. Can you imagine? You will be remembered not for your achievements, but for the lives you touched with your love. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a question you've got to ask yourself all the time. Keep on asking yourself, how many people, as I'm sitting here, how many people are busy thanking God now because of what I've done for them? If the answer is no, life will trouble you. Let's repeat the question. How many people are busy? I don't see them, but they are busy thanking God. And in their thanking God, they are mentioning my name. If you were not living your life like that, don't feel condemned. It's ignorance. We are delimata. You won't carry favor. If you favor people, life will favor you. will translate to a favored life. Avoid, ah, 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 ah. Avoid living a life that helps no one. It's an animal life. Did you hear what I've said? What did I say? Avoid to live a life that helps no one because you may discover that in this world no one wants to help you 
I was a demon. It's a harvest. You do good to no one, so no one on the earth wants to do good to you. And file a lack of a background, a lack of a scholarship, a lack of a lack of a lack of a lack of a lack You will not be remembered, you will be remembered not for your achievements, but for the lives you touched. If you favor people, life huh, will favor you. Avoid living a life that helps nobody, it's dangerous. If you live your life like that, you are regarded as a human animal. It's a human being with an animal attitude. The things we call curses, it's not curses. It's a harvest. Because the moment you accept Jesus, you receive the nature of God, the DNA of God. The Bible says we become partakers of the divine nature. The curse cannot survive. As long as you become a doer of the word, you remove troubles and struggles from your life by helping others come out of their struggles. You do what? You remove what? Troubles and what? And struggles from where? From your life. By doing what? By helping others come out of what? Their struggles. I was surprised that that day, Bazan and Funza, how God promises to help a person who helps the poor. I was shocked. The Bible says the prayers of the poor people that this person helps will raise that person from a sickness bed when that person is sick. When you are a helper of people, their prayers help you. You see breakthroughs among the looks of the genjan. Since I'm a current young man, it has changed. I'm going to change, as change. Gang on and Jung, I'm saying the other as change, as change, as change. To live to be a blessing to others than to live to bless yourself and only your loved ones. Kune band when they help people, they are selective. Aloha. Aloha. Loya Tatin Zabate to Nagu Tangelingam Nigagon. Selective, hallelujah! Don't be what be selective. Let's continue. Let's continue, please. Choose, say, I choose, choose to live to be what a blessing. Write, write this statement instead of being recognition driven, be contributing driven. Instead of being what? Recognize. Be contribution driven. Just be passionate about always contributing to the wellness of others. It's like when I was in the house, it's very simple. The more you make other people's lives better, the more God makes your life better. Hi! Sang statement. The more you make other people's lives better by the help you give them, no matter how big or small, it is the more God makes your life better. These are the mysteries of life. It's a mystery. Are you hearing me? These are the what? Are the mystery. The more. You make other people's lives better, the more God makes yours better. Instead of being possessions driven, be contribution driven towards the making 
other people's lives better. Oh my God. Say, Father, do something new in my life. This week, Bazana wants us to force life to favor us. Paralyze demons. Because if you keep a good heart, demons have got no, no, no part in your life. The devil wants to work where there's anger, where there's bitterness, where there's arrogance, where there's unforgiveness. Yeah. Where there's talking, harsh words, that's where demons drive. This week, not God, you. I want you to make this your best week. By the goodness you'll extend to others. This is powerful. This is powerful. Say, yes, Lord, I hear you. Say, my heart is open. Say, I'm changing, Lord. Say, Father, now that I'm a Christian, now that I've received salvation, may I be converted in character, in behavior. May I be nice. Sense of God, you know that there are people who never go to church, but they're so nice to people. Things are happening for them. Without the prayer and the vibrating we do. Some people pray very hard, but they are also hard to other people. So lives continue to be hard for them. Hello. <laughs> they pray very hard, but they are also hard. <laughs> so this hearty rock is surprised why I pray so hard and things are hard without realizing you are too hard to your children too so life is hard towards you you reap what you sow Striving to be always pleasant to others creates a pleasant life for you. <sighs> Did you hear what I've just said? I've just made a, a big statement. Striving. Should you put effort. Striving means I put effort. It's not easy to be pleasant to people. But by Look easy, look dilanabo. <laughs> Look, he's in the fire for fire. <laughs> you strike, I strike. You do nonsense, I do nonsense to you times too. <laughs> are you excited? Are you sure you are excited? I'm spending Kanuga Fair. Striving to always be pleasant to others creates a pleasant life for you. <laughs> you are God, Elohim. In the little kids, Abantu ga kulum neng mange. Yati basalanga tumgua notice umlonge na lutu atwale gwen lula imbuzulwan. <laughs> Say, Lord, I change. Say, I will be very good to all people as much as I can so that life can be good to me in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Let pray, 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 because the change must begin now. If you are not convicted now, you won't change. The change must begin now. Say, Lord, I resolve. No more bad attitude. No more 
with the help of the Holy Spirit this thing is difficult naturally but be like Paul in Philippians 4.13 I can do all these things through Christ who gives me the ability you are a Christian so you are under Christ's influence say I'm a Christian so I'm, I'm under Christ's influence the influence of Christ is the word of God Oh, Shalina Masaka in the Holy Spirit. Lendo Kapazea Bushete Bayanda. Lepra Kapazea Bushete. You can choose to be promoted in life through hard working and sweating or through giving service to others. When you give service to others, you'll be promoted. Greeting a person and showing a person kindness is giving service to that person. Forgiving a person who did you wrong is giving a service to that person. Helping a person who needs help is giving service to that person. Amen. Give us a receive us. Hello? Give us a what? If you are a giver of kindness, you'll be a receiver of what? Of good, of kindness. Amen. Do you like what you are learning? Say, I'm learning. Jesus said, whoever wants to be great in life must achieve it by becoming a servant of others. Self-seeking and possessions craving will only make you a slave of materialism. What did I say? Self what? Self-seeking and what? And possessions craving will only make you what? A slave of what? Of materialism. Everything you have, the Bible says, it came from God. It's God. It's the mercy of heaven. God has helped you. There's nothing we have which we did not receive. That's why even in giving, you give with a happy heart. To say, this God gave it to me. What a joy to give him a portion of what he gave me. What a joy. He made me to get 10,000. What a joy to release a portion to the one who gives me grace to keep on getting. But people who don't have revelation is like, Ish, the madam The Bible says you shall remember. The Lord your God. For it is who? It is he who gives you what? Power. The word power there is grace. To get it. So if you keep on giving God his portion, the grace to keep on getting, keep on increasing. Right, that one is a revelation on the side. If each time money comes, salary or just an allowance or money just came or bonus, and cheerfully, you can't say, <laughs> no this thing becomes a covenant say covenant it's your deal with God say I've got special deals with God when, when he gives me money there's always a cut for my God not for the church the church receives it on behalf of God but it's for my God hallelujah because it is God who keeps on ensuring that we are not aimed to an accounting. In that thing, in bar man accounting. When accounting, that when that that in thing, it is God who ensures that we are not aimed to parallel and a son to parallel. It is God who ensures that we are not aimed. It's not an accounting. That's when we come on. It is God. Hey, some people are struggling. Nang melal ki person ve naga funi. Ah, some kinds of spa pick and pay. Hey, what's this? So shy gong. Okay, oh shy gong. Tula matron. Okay. Hey, let us be well. Son ve nunga taga nalo. Ma piga kutuna le son ve. San makolo nelko na invela zanga se silbo nela. You 
our God, Elohim, ancient of days. Don't let what you possess define you. Your worth is not determined by your possessions. It is determined by your good deeds towards others. It must people who must put a high value on you, not yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say I like what I'm hearing. Hey, don't let what you have define your worth, but let it be what you add to other people's lives that define your worth. Thank you, Jesus. Money keeps flowing to those who keep passing it towards the upliftment of others. Money keeps flowing to those who keep on passing it on for the upliftment of others. We had to see, do you know that people who come to this church get into buses, they don't pay anything. And the offering that you keep on throwing, dropping makes that to happen. money that you'll spend on you, all of it will go to the grave with you. The money that you spend towards the cause of the kingdom, towards the business of God and towards uplifting others, it will speak for you. It will outlive you. When your body goes to the grave, your good deeds will remain on earth speaking for you. That's why you must be a cheerful what? Giver. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Let's do that question again. Keep asking yourself this question. Who are those who keep on thanking God for my life? Because of the help I've given them. Back on. People who are saying, Lord, hi, Manus Trinel is ban ban. Amen. Because if the answer is no, you may find problems. I'm cleaning another statement, let's cool. Thing two contributing towards the wellness of others always creates a good future for you. Hmm? Let's say together, say contributing towards the wellness of others always creates a good future for me and I will do it. Following statement, God blesses you so that you can be a blessing to others. God never blesses justice for justice. Never blesses you for you. He blesses you so that you can be what? A blessing to others. From today, say from today. Aim to live a life of generosity. And you will become more fulfilled. From today, aim to live a life of what? And you will become what? More fulfilled each passing day. Generosity simply means to be generous. Amen. It means to be what? To be generous. And what does a generous pe 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 person do? A generous person always gives more of something than is usual or expected. You give more of something beyond expectation. That's why you are said to be generous. A generous person is friendly and helpful. Dindole the king em to look generous. Think too are cool. Who friendly, who helpful. Who jani? Who friendly. A pins abe jani? Abe helpful. Umlo generous. Who jani? Who friendly. A pins abe jani? Abe helpful. Without struggle. 
Some of the synonyms, Egba generous, Guti, you are open handed, easy handed. Amen. Ushejus vule sandla. You are charitable, you are hospitable, you are free handed. Tan makelonobong nigalula, man. Let's summarize, let's close and summarize with reading, by reading Proverbs 11, 24-25. Simple rendition on the CEV. Ah, as soon as one, two, three, four, read. You see that you can choose. Eh? Sometimes you can become rich. Can you imagine? I was a man who was a kindness. Can you imagine? Who was a man 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 is in those is a good hand up here. New Living Translation. Same verse. One, two, three, four, read. A little brother. When I saw this one for the first time, I was like, I was like, I was like, I be stingy and what? And lose everything. Amen. Did you learn something today? Are you sure? Sure, sure, sure. Please, let's read these verses at 25-6, New Living Translation. Let's rise to our feet. The generous will what? Will prosper. And those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. And such by who? By life. Refresh me, life will refresh you. As a still funds a lion to a simple corner. See if he. you read your Bible when. Download the Bible app so that you read all the versions. Now, Funzal Pipe and Livers were put at Lula Gulong of Alini, you'll Funzak my versions, Lang Five. Uzu Vectiti One. One, two, three, read. Generosity will be what? If you want to live a life that is continuously rewarded with good things, breakthroughs, miracles, wonders, promotion, money coming from nowhere, be generous. Then, Let's read now the, 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 the practicals of it. One, two, three, four, read. Simple givers are receivers. Can you see it? Can you see give here? Yeah? We are going to give. You mean you, you can't say receive. Giving active faith, receiving. If you want to keep on receiving good things, because you did so much for good, so much good for other people, lift up your hands and pray. Lambra kapazete bayana. My soul say yes, say yes, say yes. My soul say yes. Say yes to your word. My soul say yes. Say yes. Say yes. My soul say yes. Say yes to your word. So let me think. Let me beg. Emma, instance is lafana. Good to. I'm sorry, 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 please. I'm very, very sorry, please. Hey, 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 
Lift up your hands and pray. Talk to God seriously now. See, Father, I change, I change. I'm going to program my week. Leta la basukabaya. Zina la masaka. Shout and say, I clean my heart from all garbage of bitterness. Garbage of bitterness. And she do yam fulega. Ufulega le leave. It in the do fulega. Zila basuka shana la masaka. Uti father, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I will hear you. Never again will I be stingy with money. Will I fail to bring my tithes and my offerings? I will honor you, my God. Because everything I have comes from you, including the very life, the very ability to be alive. It's a gift from you, my regard. Lembruha shana la masakaya. Zeta la basuka shete. Everyone pray. Uti Father, convert me. Change me, Lord. To become a good person, a pleasant person, a loving person, a respecting person, a kind person, a generous person, Lord, a forgiving person. No more bitterness and anger. No more hidden anger. Hey! Zilaba, I repent, I change. Put me in your surgery, Lord, and work in my heart. Lembro kapaze te kamazaya, la pro kapaze abu shete la basukan, lembra kapaze te bayanda basaka. I want us to pray the prayer of David in Psalm 51. I'm sure it's verse 10 or 11 as a prayer. Say thank you, Jesus. Say, Father, I decide now that I will go out of this door to be a better person. To be generous, to be kind, to be helpful to others in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51 verse 10, yes. In the New Living Translation, yes. 51.10. Lambruha shana masaka. One, two, three, four, it created me what? A clean heart. Clean my heart from all the garbage of bitterness, garbage of resentment, garbage of, of anger, garbage of, of oh my God. Oh Shalina Masakabayan. Garbage of grudges, Lord. Clean me today by your mercy. Create in me a clean heart. Oh God, renew a steadfast spirit, loyal spirit within me. Lendo Kasaliaba Sakabaya Lambro Kapazutu Kapazea Bushete Labakasa Mantala Babazeke Shatalaba Kustabaya Ula Bakazatabayana. Put it in the CEV. O Shalina Masaka. Lendo Kapazaya, create pure thoughts in me and make me faithful again. Create pure thoughts in me. Make me faithful again to what's doing your word. Yes, Linda Kapazete Bayana. Lepro Kapazete Bayana. Ushalida Basuka Babaya. Mantala Basea Makata Bayanta Masaka. Ushala basaka babaya, manta la baze abu shete la babaze. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory.